we can now realize European unity. We're now European Union. Yay. Hi guys, welcome to another Hoi Ford challenge. In today's video we're gonna play as Luxembourg. But first, a word from our sponsor. Raid. Sh Just kidding. My sponsor is me. I made a Discord server, and if you wanna join, click on the link that I'm going to put in a pinned comment. Anyway, let's go. Regular difficulty, historical focuses are enough, and let's go Luxembourg. I'm gonna start by building one level of infrastructure, and I'll research CAS 1 right away, and also basic machine tools. As for focus, I'm gonna go for political effort, and I think we're set. Yeah, let's go. Obviously, the biggest issue of Luxembourg is the fact that it has, like, no manpower at all. I found a way to have manpower as Luxembourg. Keep in mind, it is very, very cheesy, so you might hate me for doing this. Let's train one division of public force, let's deploy it, and let's exercise it. And political effort is finished. Let's now do industrial effort. Now I have to hire either a fascist demagogue or communist revolutionary. I'm gonna go with fascist demagogue. Yes, I know, 500 weekly manpower if you're communist, but trust me, this is better. All we need to do now is basically wait. RIP Ethiopia. And here we are. Industrial effort is finished, let's do construction effort. Basic machine tools are researched, I'm gonna go with dispersed one. And now let's hire silent workhorse. And we got our first army experience, yay. And we research CAS. I'm going to research improved machine tools now. And let's start production of CAS. I'm gonna stop production of guns, I'm just going to import aluminum and rubber from France. And here we are, Spanish Civil War. Construction effort 2. Anyway, let's now hire some uh, army guy. Let's get the infantry expert. Now I'm gonna get some army experience actually. Let's get dispersed two. And infrastructure effort is next. It says that we are gonna get three levels of infrastructure, but we're just gonna get one level actually. Anyway, we got enough political power. Let's open up political discourse now. And we're about to finish this focus. As you can see, we now got only level four infrastructure. I'm not gonna do infrastructure for two, I'm just gonna do construction for three. This focus will be bypassed in about a month and a half because I'm gonna build that level of infrastructure. Let's improve workers' conditions because 90% stability is not enough. Look at this funny number. Haha. Ha. Anyway, we got improved machine tools, let's get construction one and two more days. And now infrastructure for three, I mean two, should be bypassed. Yeah, exactly. Which means we can now do extra research slot. Next thing I'm going to build is airport. I want to have at least level 3 airport and then I'm just going to build land forts. Let's hire another military guy. And I wonder what the hell is this? Lux Alexander von Falkenhausen. I have no idea what is he doing here, but let's get him. He's an uh, army defense expert. Dispersed industry 2 is researched. Let's get electronic mechanical engineering. Let's now ban the cringe, I mean communism. And we got our third research slot now. Let's go for support weapons 1 and let's go for armament effort focus. I need military factories to produce more planes. Oh, the humanity. Look at all these events happening at once. I'm going to discredit the government and now I have 44% fascist support. And election is in like two weeks. Rather than, than the communists means we're now at 54% fascist support. I'm low on political power though, so I'm going to not pick any focuses after this one. RIP Amelia. Electronic mechanical engineering is researched, let's get mechanical computing, and we finished armament effort. I'm not going to pick any focus for now, I'm just going to produce more chaos, and let's get some political power, we really need it. And now let's hold national, re national referendum. Now I'm gonna get this guy, Frederick Negelmakers, and he gives us 5% political power gain. Let's also go for state service and military, which means another 5% political power gain. Now we get 2.8 political power per day. Construction 1 is researched, let's do construction 2. Anyway, we got our first political power, let's start justifying against not the Netherlands, but the Dutch East Indies, because that's gonna generate way less war tension. Now we need some more political power. And I think that's enough, yes, let's justify against uh, Belgium, randomly against Burundi. Belgium, give me your Burundi. Anyway, I'm going to wait until I have 10 political power. And now let's do armament effort too. We got 55 planes, which is very good. And now I'm going to show you how to get free manpower. Anyway, I'm going to duplicate this uh, template and let's call it just 
infantry. I give it top priority and let's give, make it at least 10 width for now. I need to put another two divisions, actually three divisions into training and yeah, let's wait for them to be trained. In the meantime, let's uh, deploy some planes. Uh, I'm going to deploy like 10 planes. And we got ourselves support weapons 1. Let's now get to radio. Let's deploy these guys. Now I'll be switching them to this bigger template. And what's gonna happen, I'm gonna run out of manpower completely. As you can see here, we need another 16,000 manpower, which we don't have at all. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna do one glitch, which gets you infinite manpower. Yes, I know. However, it does take a lot of effort, but it does pay back. So watch this. I'm just going to du duplicate all of these air wings, and let's delete all of them, except for one. Now we got 1000 manpower out of nowhere. And uh, if I got the divisions in training queue, or under manpower divisions, it's just gonna end up in those divisions. So once again, I'm going to do this. And boom, 1000 manpower out of nowhere. Watch this, uh, army in the field, 7.48 thousands, now it's 7.98, 8.54. I just need to do this like 100 times, but it will pay off. Luxembourg stands united. Yeah, it's so hard to keep country united when it has only one province. Let's train another 16 of these divisions. Yes, there are 10 width, but let's train more of them. And also, the more planes you got, the easier this is. Let's get another infantry guy. I'm gonna go for armor expert just to get more army experience. And let's go for armament effort 3. God, I'm gonna burn in hell for this. Actually, no, I'm gonna burn in hell for other things. After like 5 minutes of doing this, now when I delete these guys, I got 80,000 manpower. And yes, this isn't that much in a global scale, but for a country of 300,000 people, this is definitely a lot. Anyway, let's expand this template, let's make it 20 width. Let's also get limited description, because why the hell not. And after armament effort 3, I'm gonna go for secret weapons. And once again, I'm out of manpower, so I'm just going to do this over and over again. And rip Spain. Did anarchists actually outlive republicans? Yes, they did. Construction 2 is done. Support weapons 2. And we did it. Now we got tons of manpower, as you can see. We got six divisions in training here, so that's 60,000, another 40,000 here, and another 40,000 in the field. That's 140,000 manpower. But I don't have any equipment. But don't worry, that will be sorted out soon. Let's go for this first industry three and improve the infantry equipment one. It's time to start improving relations both with Germany and with Italy. And you know what, let's fire the fascist demagogue, we don't really need them anymore. And here come the secret weapons, let's do collectivist status. And soon we're going to declare war on the Dutch East Indies. Actually another two days and let's declare war on them. Dutch East Indies, not on the Netherlands, that way we just generated 6.9% war tension, nice. Now I'm going to do good old trick. I don't have any land connection to Japan, so I'm just going to start land leasing them, because nothing is gonna reach them out. Let's start fake production of guns, support equipment, actually trains, support equipment and artillery, as well as fighters. Now I'm going to land lease them all that, which I don't even have, thus creating a giant equipment deficit. And now let's just beg our friends, Germany and Italy, for all the equipment that they've got. For some reason they actually are very willing to help out Luxembourg. And even Germany sends us like 8000 guns for some reason. Also, we're not in the Axis, we could have joined, but if we did, then the Belgium would get guaranteed. We don't want them to get guaranteed. In the meantime, let's get Air Superiority Expert, and our first land lease is about to arrive. Which means, look at this, now all these guys are equipped. So let's ask Germany for land lease again. As well as Italy, obviously. Let's get Military Theorist, and let's go for National as a focus. Let's not forget to back for more equipment. Let's get the trucks. I'm gonna modify this template, I'm gonna give them support artillery and engineer company, and they should have enough equipment, I think. Let's deploy these six guys. More equipment, please. Improved artillery. You know what time of the month it is. It's time of the month when we steal even more equipment. Let's go for militarism. And justification for Belgium is finished. Let's draw front line, offensive line, and let's wait until we get our equipment. Now we got our equipment which means I'm going to ask for it one more time 
and we got it, and now let's stop land lease in Japan, which means let's declare war on Belgium, right away. And let's instantly do war propaganda against Belgium, since we got 0% war support. I'm ready to deploy all of the planes that I have now, which is now a total of 548 planes. Damn, that's a lot of planes. Compared to Belgium's 20-ish, we're just going to destroy their air force. Netherlands has even less planes. I need to encircle like three Belgian divisions. After that, it's going to be much easier. But the hardest part is breaking through at the start. Now we can see the Belgian divisions actually, and sadly we'll have to fall back to Luxembourg. But it's okay. Anyway, let's reorganize and let's try to break through again. This is going to take a couple of attempts, and I'm kind of low on time. I got about a year until I pick out Belgium and the Netherlands. And we finished militarism, which means we just got 20. Army experience with the military youth, and let's get superior firepower. This will give me 10% soft attack, which is going to help me out. We might be able to do it, and we managed to do it. This is our very first encirclement in Belgium. Six divisions, they're gonna get destroyed. Let's get weapons too. Let's try to encircle some more Belgian divisions. Also, let's get war industrialist. Military youth is done. Let's go for farm militarism, and let's hire a democratic reformer. Because, hey, we like democracy, right? Anyway, I took Maastricht, and I just encircled another 8 Belgian divisions. Let's take them out. Let's get construction 3. Rip Belgian divisions. Let's check the casualties. We got 35,000 casualties, they got 186,000. Netherlands also has 2,000. Let's destroy another 2 divisions in Belgium. Rip another 2 divisions. Now, what I gotta do is make sure not to capitulate Belgium. Why? Belgium is filled with factories, and has only 2 states actually in the mainland, this one and this one. And if I get them in the peace deal, they're gonna lose a bunch of factories. And I don't want that to happen. Instead what I want is to control both Flanderen and Wallonie, but not capitulate Belgium. How am I gonna do that? I'm just gonna take Brussels, not Antwerpen, that way... Well, Brussels and a couple more smaller cities. I'm not going to take Antwerpen though. As you can see, even though we took Brussels, it's still their capital because they still control this state. Now their capital is no longer here, and they got 14 factories here. Let's destroy these divisions. As for the Netherlands, I'd like to do the same thing, but you can't really do it. So I'll have to capitulate the Netherlands. And that won't be that hard, really. Let's destroy these divisions in Antwerpen, and we did it. But I must not take Antwerpen at all costs. Nice little encirclement right here. Let's destroy these guys in Antwerpen because they just spawned in. After paramilitarism, I'm gonna go for ideological fanaticism. This encirclement is destroyed. And I think once we take Amsterdam, they should be able to capitulate. And we took Amsterdam, which means rip the Netherlands. I'm going to satellite the Dutch East Indies. And let's take all the states of the Netherlands. For that, I don't have enough score, but I'm just going to pass a couple of times, obviously. And the Netherlands is taken out. And as you can see now, I can repudiate the Treaty of London. And now I'm reunited Benelux. And this is my core state. Which means I'm not going to lose building slots here. Which means I'm not going to lose factories here. So let's finally take out Antwerpen. And Antwerpen is ours, and so is the Belgium. I'm just gonna take all their states. And now we got 60 factories. If I didn't do this, if I just took Antwerpen normally, I would probably have around... 45 factories, but now I got another extra 15-ish. And now we finished our first step of the great journey of Luxembourg. Still need another two steps. Next thing I'm gonna do is join the Axis. I'll start training some more divisions. Now I actually got some manpower. I also got a puppet which has a manpower, and that's and that's uh, Luxembourg East Indies. Let's copy this template, let's get... Let's make it like ours. And yeah, let's switch our guys to it. Let's produce some new artillery, 3 factories of support equipment, 5 factories of artillery, the rest is just gonna be CAS. I don't have to worry about resources now, since I got basically infinite amounts of aluminum and rubber from my puppet. And let's start production of our navy. I'm going to ask Italy for licensed production. Negotiate licenses, and let's go for that Mameli class submarine. The literal worst submarine you can have, which is this one. Neutral bathtub, let's just produce it. I went for extensive prescription. Now I'm waiting for my divisions to be deployed. And here we are. Let's deploy more of them. And let's switch them out to the Indonesian template. Shift and exercise. Let's stop improving artillery, we don't need that. Let's instead get transport ships. In the meantime, let's build some naval dockyards here. 
And after ideological fanaticism, I'm gonna go for extra resource slot too. Deploy another 10 divisions and put another 10 into training. My goal is to have at least 48 divisions. Two full armies is what I need to have. Let's get delay. Also, it's now research paratroopers. Italy joined us. I need to switch to war economy, but I don't have enough war support. So I'm going to wait until I get a little bit more political power. It's a computing machine. Let's start justifying against some very powerful country, like USA. As you can see, war tension has just risen, and war support is 57%. Let's build some more naval dockyards in the Netherlands, deploy another 10 divisions, and put some more into training. Let's create an agency real quick, and now I get 150 PP, which means I can go for war economy. But I cancel justification against the USA. Now I'm gonna have this demobilize our economy protests and whatnot, but soon I'm gonna be in the war, so it won't matter that much. And we got our fourth research slot. I'll be researching cast 2 now. Let's switch all four guys to the Indonesian template. Anyway, next focus I'm gonna do is naval effort. I need more dockyards, so I can produce more crappy submarines. And let's deploy these 17 divisions. I'm gonna get another 15, so that I have three full armies. And let's split up these guys. I'm gonna need some more generals, as well as a field marshal. These first 24 divisions will be on the French border as well as the second 24 divisions. As for the last 9 divisions, and soon that's gonna be 24 as well, I'm gonna put them somewhere uh, on our coast. They should guard our largest victory points. I think this is good for the decline. We got our agency, but I don't think I'm going to upgrade it yet. Germany is about to declare war on Poland, and here comes the World War II. So let's quickly stop exercising my army, and let's join the Germany! I'm gonna draw an offensive line, like this, for the first and for the second army. Aggressive, and let's make sure that my planes are supporting my guys down in the field. So I got almost 1000 cast planes, which is great. They instantly started naval invading, which is something you would expect from British. Instead of actually helping France defend itself, they, they naval invade. Nice little encirclement right there, and we're pushing nicely into France. At this rate, France is going to capitulate sooner than Poland. Hmm, let's try to sneak into Paris. Or well, snake. We got our transport ships. Let's get landing craft, I guess. And let's get our first operative to Sussex. Paris is about to fall any minute now. It was not enough, but a couple more victory points, and yeah. They capitulated. No wishy France, because we control this. And we get to control all of the mainland France, or well, metropolitan France, as they refer to it. You will notice that we are kind of short on tungsten. Hmm, what am I gonna do about it? justify on Spain. And now I'm gonna send two full armies on the Spanish border. I'm also going to uh, build some airports in the southern France. And Germany wants to send me 13 divisions. Yeah sure, I'm just gonna take them and don't do nothing with them. I'll just send them like here. Now I'm gonna go for air crew surveys. Let's also produce some more gas. I, I can't specify how much gas I need. We finished the naval effort, which means I'm now gonna go, go for the technology sharing. This will give me 50 research slot. <laughs> oh my god, look at this. Italy wants to have send me zero of everything. I'm not gonna say yes, I don't care. The German troops are fighting in Congo. I'm going to do some more propaganda against France so I can get some war support. The fall of Warsaw, yeah, I should have helped out Germany in, in Poland. I forgot. It's okay. Anyway, the airports have been built. Let's send our planes down here. I like to have these two airports are literally right next to each other. And justification is finished. Let's now draw an offensive line, although I should have done that a bit earlier. And let's look at war in Spain. Also start justifying against Portugal. And go. And we took Barcelona already. Oh no, I'm being naval invaded. Too bad, I'm just gonna win. Anyway, let's deploy these 15 divisions and let's put them into the 3rd army. I managed to create a Soviet encirclement right here. It was more divisions, but they got destroyed because they were doing last stand. Who dares wins? Let's go for formation flying and improved computing machine. Who cares wins? Getting war support from these ace pilots. Justification for Portugal is finished, but I'm not going to declare war on them yet, obviously. Oh yes, democratic opposition forming. Rip stability. Let's improve workers' conditions real quick. I'm gonna march into some of these victory points. Oh, you know what? Let's put a bunch of divisions into training. I actually want to have a huge deficit of guns. Minus 63,000. Oh. Germany, please help me out. 20,000 guns for free. What about you, Italy? 18,000 guns for free. Yeah, let's cancel this training now. Our troopers are researched. I'm going to improve my artillery now. And let's get mobile defense. 
Spain is about to get wrecked. One more victory point and they will capitulate it, definitely. And that's Sevilla, rip Spain and all the allied divisions that got stuck here. And we got our last research slot. Now I'm gonna go for army effort and let's get advanced machine tools. Dive bombing. Oh, look at all these divisions here that are gonna get annihilated completely. What? They're naval invading in Germany? Come on, Britain, what are you doing? And we took Gibraltar. So let's quickly put our first and second uh, armies onto the Portuguese border. Where war? Go. Portugal joined the Allies, but who cares? They're gonna die in a week. Just a little bit more, Lisbon has fallen, and all this juicy tungsten located here and here is now ours. Let's move our first and second army to Le Havre and to Dunkirk, and let's train some paratrooper divisions now. I'll try to land in Britain, either by naval invasion or by paratroopers, so we're gonna see what's gonna be easier. And let's move our planes here as well, into Kauai. I like it how in some of these states there is no resistance at all, because nobody has cores on them. Let's now draw up naval invasions like this for both the first and the second army. Anyway, let's make sure that our guys have trucks and let's see how much naval domains do we have. 18%, that's nothing. I guess I'm gonna power drop then. Let's go for aviation effort now and disperse support because I got artillery. Time to deploy these paratroopers. Let's send them to Calais, and I forgot about the transport planes. Yes, I should produce some of those. Let's get five factories of those. I like it how I can dismantle the Maginot line twice. This way I just lose factories, this way I get to bonus actually. Anyway, let's get uh, atomic research, and I guess dispersed four. And now I just need to wait until we get new, until we get some transport planes. Let's produce new CAS. Oh, we're not gonna. We're gonna. We're not. We're gonna go for the first option. No, let's fire democratic reformer. I'm gonna hire him later. I don't need him now, really. And we got our first transport plane. Let's now check if they got any guys. I'm going to take one of my submarines. Already damaged one. Let's put it into the other fleet and let's manually send it next to Dower. I want to see if there is anybody in Dower. Okay, there is a division in Dower. Doesn't seem like there's a division in Portsmouth. Guess that's where I'm landing then. Pompey. K1 landed, 2 landed, 3 landed. More of them are landing. I need to give them a general. And they need to do some last stand orders. Let's also make sure that my cast is supporting them. They need to land in Portsmouth. They just landed in Portsmouth. Let's delete these orders and let's send our first and second army into Portsmouth. This is the Sea Lion operation. Anyway, let's delete all these orders, they look really messy. And let's go, I'm gonna delete my paratroopers, I don't need them anymore, sorry guys, I don't need you really. And it's time to spread out. Now we got this pretty big front line. My goal is to cut off London from the rest of the country, as always. Let's take Bristol, and direct ground support it is. And now I'm just going to start building military factories here. Where do you think you're going? One division is circled here, let's destroy it. And we did it, we cut off the London from the rest of the country. Let's now take East Anglia. I'm going to put my first army on this main front line, while the second army will be in a fallback line around London. And the first army is going to push further north. So first army, let's go. We should be able to easily push them out. Let's go for fighter focus now. And while my first army pushes, I'm gonna start farming uh, war participation with the second army. I got 50% war participation, which is really good. We already got pretty nice war participation, but I want more. I want to have at least like 65 to 70%. In the meantime, let's research construction 4. And now is the good old trick. Basically, the deal is once we hit 100 in the victory point, we're gonna get war participation. But I must not take London. Formation fighting is next. Oh, I could, yeah, I, I'm, I should definitely do war propaganda against Britain. Never enough war support. Oh, look at this, I already got 50 vessels, nice. I think we pushed enough, let's stop. I don't want to take Scotland, uh, even I don't want Scotland. Even the invading force doesn't want Scotland. They're too strong, I'm gonna send half of the third army, as well as half of the first army here as well. They're literally too strong. Anyway, let's get to losing gentlemen, this will let me upgrade my agency faster, and let's get passive defense. Now let's attack into London now. Localized training centers. And finally, we won in London. Now our participation should be up. It's now 52%. And I have to do this over and over again. Don't take that long though. A couple of in-game months is all it takes, really. 
Let's get overwhelming firepower. Now I have to research something. Let's go for assembly line production. Next focus I'm gonna go for is aviation effort 2. And let's get passive defense. And the stupid German division took London and ended the war. I got about 60% war participation, so I still got pretty big score. My goal is to secure things in Europe and maybe Canada as well. Anyway, good thing for us is that Germany is focusing more on Africa than on Europe, which is pretty good. I also took all the British colonies. Time to secure British Raj. They're filled with manpower. I want to have that manpower for myself. Germany is traditionally taking everything it can. Actually, that's not the German tradition, that's Italian tradition. Anyway, I just want to take these things for myself. Let's also take Spanish Africa, why the hell not? And now we got ourselves a Canadian puppet. Now let's satellite British Malaya. And the only thing that's left is this state in Poland. Now let's, let's actually give it to Slovakia, why the hell not? And now this is the end of the peace deal. We got a bunch of stuff for ourselves. And I can say that this is the second step done out of three steps. And now I got enough manpower, which means I can definitely switch my guys back to the actual template. They can actually use my manpower now. And I'm just gonna spam as much division as I, as I can. So we're gonna need as much army as we can have. Let's get some more generals. I'm gonna put first army right here. Second army is gonna go right here. And I think you know where this is going to go. And the third army goes here. Fourth army will go to Italy with like six of them going to... Corsica. Now let's not forget about everything, let's just build mills in the Benelux and then later in France as well. We need some mills, uh -huh. I'm obviously going to produce even more casts. Let's get the economy civilian, let's improve infantry equipment and you know what, let's finally leave Axis. Instead I'm gonna be joining the Greater East Asian Corporate Sphere because Japan we're gonna, is gonna have war goals on me because I control Southeast Asia and I don't want them to fight me. Anyway, let's send our spies to the Germany. Let's recruit one German operative. Army department. Hunt and destroy. And also combat unit destruction. Last army will also go here. I'm going to shift and exercise my army and also I put them in aggressive. Let's grow plantations in Nigeria, <laughs> because why not? I think it's time for us to once again hire the democratic reformer guy. Why not? Army department, now I can be the spy master, and I am. I'm gonna keep upgrading my agency so I can have another spy slot. Well, operative slot, sorry. And finally, let's do the cast effort. Passive defense is done, let's do it one more time. And we got atomic research. Guess I'm gonna go for advanced computing machine. And I got enough spies, so let's, let's get Yoshiko Kawashima. And let's go for battlefield support. Italy just laid claims onto Greek territory. And rip Greece. And imagine Italy just fails to take Greece at all now. That would be funny and realistic. Let's take this woman. Uh, let's give her quiet into network. While well, these two will prepare the collaboration government in Germany. Luxembourg East Indies will go independent, so I'll have to build some stuff in Indonesia just to prevent that. Anyway, the cast effort is about to be finished. Let's go for Doctrine of 42. And Greece joined the Chinese United Front. Oh my god. The Axis are now gonna fight China. Dispersed 4. Now I'm gonna go for Cast 3 in 1940. Yes, I know. I'm gonna have 1944 Cast planes in 1941 because, yes. Yeah, let's go for first option. Construction 4. And Romania just joined the Axis now. They're a bit late to the party, I'd say. Italy is still not pushing against Greece. Come on, Italy. Yugoslavia is also now in Chinese United Front. Look at this mess. Oh my god. Just look at this. Look at the way they split Yugoslavia into pieces. This is so ugly. In the meantime, let's improve artillery some more. Let's also get anti-air. Let's also build some more mills. Mechanized offensive. Now let's train some more divisions. Let's get another two armies. Doctrine effort is finished. Let's go for Doctrine effort 2. Finally, they're pushing into Greece. Let's hire another German operative, and now we got two German operatives, yay. And we prepared our collaboration government against Germany. Let's not do it again, but this time I'm gonna do it with both the German operatives. Deploy these guys into Paris and just let them sit there, I guess. They're the reserve army. And we hit 300 factories. I don't think we need much bigger industry anymore, so let's start building airports. Maximum airport in Corsica, in Alsace Lorraine, Luxembourg, and also Friesland. Let's not do equipment effort. Let's get uh, new guns, I guess. I don't know, really. And they managed to take out Greece. Finally. Good job, Italy. 
and the help of entirety of axis. Let's produce more cast. I got 103 factories on cast, so yeah. Let's improve entire. I should start production of entire actually. Let's get 20 factories in entire. And Japan to curve our on the USA. Yay. I'm not gonna join that war, I don't care. You can see Japan is now justifying against me, but we are allies, so it's all good. It's all cool. Let's get uh, centralized fire control. And Yunnan has capitulated. Oh, yeah. Germany is fighting in China, I forgot. I was wondering how the hell did Yunnan capitulate. Well, they're making some nice progress here, I must say. And the Germany declared war on the Soviet Union, which is exactly what I wanted to happen. Germany is now fighting in the Soviet Union and also in China, so they're quite busy. I think they should be able to take out China, but I don't know about Soviet Union. Soviet Union is really big, as you can see. So yeah, what I'm doing now is waiting to build my factories up, and then I'm just gonna build my airports, and yeah, that's it. Let's go for equipment effort 2, and we got CAS 3. Let's produce CAS 3 now. As you can see, Germany is definitely having a hard time against the Soviets. They barely managed to push at all, but we're gonna give them some more time. I'm not gonna attack them yet. I already got 156 submarines. Oh, that's a lot of submarines. Let's get support weapons 4. At this rate, I'm just gonna annex my puppets. Let's first annex British Malaya. I'm gonna send them all the convoys we've got, pretty much. That should be enough to annex them. I want to get rid of my Malaysian and Indonesian puppets because Japan has war goals against them. And let's annex Malaysia. British, I mean Luxembourg, Malaya. And our second collaboration government is prepared. That one was 45%, so now I got 75% collaboration in the Germany. Let's do the last one. And I think it's time we start preparing war against Axis. I'm not gonna use any fighters because I'm based. Let's take all the casts and let's send them to Luxembourg. We got 2,000 deployed. Duplicate, duplicate, and yeah, we're gonna see what we can do. 2,000 casts will go to the Friesland. Another 2,000 will go to the Alsace-Lorraine. Another 2,000 will go to the Corsica. And another two will go to the Southeast France. Do I have enough casts for this? No, I don't. I need a little bit more of casts, but I should be able to produce it relatively quickly. Equipment effort. Let's go for rocket effort, I guess. I have no idea anymore. Let's open up political discourse. Let's shift and exercise our air force. And let's just wait until we produce another 700 planes. Improve entire. Let's improve entire some more. And let's put uh, entire into our divisions. And you know what? I can't justify against allies because Japan has a no aggression pact with them because they're at war with China. So I'll have to leave Japan. But I don't want to be attacked by Japan. So I'll have to annex my Indonesian puppet first. I just dismissed the Japanese operative. And let's wait until I can annex the Dutch East Indies, or well, Luxembourg East Indies, sorry. German Reich rejects Hungarian demands, based. And I think now, yes, no more Dutch East Indies, or Luxembourg East Indies, sorry. Now they only war go against Shangji, which means I can just leave their faction. And I can start justifying against, well, not against Germany, I'll start justifying against some other country, because Germany is guaranteed by Japan, so I'll have to fight Japan. I'm gonna start justifying against, like, Hungary? Yeah, let's justify against Hungary real quick. It's gonna take four months, but it's okay, I can wait for that long. Let's finally improve artillery one last time, and let's produce the new artillery. I have aluminum shortages, but I got Canada, so no worries. Well, Germany has just took Kiev. So they are pushing it, kinda. And we prepared collaboration government against Germany for the last time, which means we now have 100% collaboration in Germany. Let's start building a Intel network in Italy now. Communist China claims Indochina. Come and take them. Oh my god. Oh wait. That's my land. You know what? They can declare war all they want. I don't give a crap. As you can see, Germany is pushing into China. Japan is pushing into China. They're just gonna get defeated anyway. And justification for Hungary is finished. I think we're ready for this war. Let's make sure that our planes are no longer exercising and that they're actually doing some work. And I think we are all set. Let's go. They called in Bulgaria, Italy, Romania. We're waiting until we call in Germany. You know what? Let's justify against Germany manually. It's gonna take only 10 days. And you know what? Let's give ourselves the first task. Let's take Sardinia and also let's push into Italy with the rest of my army. Look at this. Chaos is just shredding them. I'm gonna go for the first option. I don't want elections. I want to get democratic a bit later though. And let's push into Germany as well. Look at all these green bubbles. Only one red. Actually it's green too. And finally we took Sardinia. 
let's give these guys a fallback line like this. I must not lose Sardinia and Corsica, I'm gonna need them later. And we're definitely pushing into Germany. Soviets want me to join the common term, but I'm not gonna say yes, I don't care. Let's close our economy since we're low on resources, I think now we should have enough. Yeah, we have enough of aluminum, finally. Who dares wins? We're actually pushing into Germany way easier than we're pushing into Italy, I didn't expect that. I expected it to be the other way around. Germany's about to capitulate, only one more major victory point and they're done. Let's try to take Berlin, if we take Berlin they're gonna capitulate, definitely. Have we managed to connect with our guys, yay. I just scared if the uh, Soviet Union gets all the stuff once they capitulate, then I'll have to fight Soviets as well. Let's justify against Switzerland. Let's hope nobody guarantees them, because there's still allies out there, consisting of Australia and New Zealand. Anyway, let's take this these 48 divisions, let's put them around the Switzerland. I'm going to attack Switzerland as well, because why not? I don't like the fact that they're gonna exist neutral there. Let's quickly rush the Switzerland. I think that Germany is going to capitulate now. Yes, they did, and look at this, we got all of their stuff. This is amazing. Now Hungary is major, which is really good. That's actually good, I'm not even kidding. Let's first take out Switzerland. I can create collaboration government of German Reich. Now this is not that bad decision, actually. I'm actually going to do this, let's do that. Why did I do this? Well, this is Luxembourg, Germany, and all of these states are now owned by my puppet. Luxembourg, Germany. I'm just gonna annex them basically, and this all will be owned by me. So no need to worry about the peace, about Soviets stealing stuff in the peace deal. Rip Switzerland. Let's now put my first army like this, as well as the second army and the third army. They'll basically just hold so that they don't take back. Mm, you know what? Let's let the people be hurt finally. In the meantime, let's discredit the government, which means I can hold a national referendum and become democratic whenever I want. Rip Italy. And Chukwu also claims into China. Okay, sure buddy, whatever. Hmm. Erich Kirchner is the leader of the eager collaborator, captain of industry. Oh my god. Yeah, but who is who now? But these guys have the same flag, literally. My PC might die. Anyway, advance far bases it is. I'm gonna stop pushing into Hungary. I don't want Hungary to capitulate. Bulgaria has just capitulated. Rip. I like it how Greece exists in these two free irrelevant provinces. Just a little bit more political power, and I'm gonna annex my German collaboration government puppet. I just did, and now all of this has 100% compliance, well, 97%, and also is owned by me. So, as you can see, owner Leo Belgicus. I can create it again, I'm not gonna do that, I'm not stupid. Now, I'm just waiting to get 100 political power so I can do national referendum. Anyway, let's hope the Soviets don't capitulate Hungary just yet. Please, hold on. The best thing would be if I would just randomly get that referendum out of nowhere, but I don't think that's gonna happen really. Like I can do recruitment in Kingdom of Greece, recruitment in Bulgaria, what? And just about another 10 days, and just one more day, and now we can hold a national referendum. And we are now democratic, which means we can now realize European, European unity. We're now European Union. Yay. Which means I'm now just gonna end this war. I wanted to unite European Union before the end of the war so that Soviets don't steal like one German state in the peace deal and then I can't do it anymore. This way if they steal it, I still have the rest of EU for myself. And look at this, core population, 182 million. Let's just push out Hungary and once we capitulate them, that's it. And rip Hungary. And we're now in the peace deal. Soviet Union obviously has an upper hand in this peace deal, but I don't really care. I just want to take Italian course. So also, for some reason, I get to core Zara. I have no idea why, but I do. Anyway, here is the end of the peace deal. I took all of this stuff for free, and as you can see, the, the Soviets did what they do the best. They created quadzillion. They created a gazillion of actually puppets, as you can see. There's even Spanish puppets somewhere. Wait. Yes, there is a Portuguese puppet in Madeira and there is a Spanish puppet in Canary Islands. Oh my god. Like, just look at this. Bal Balkan Socialist Union here. Then there is Soviet Union here. There is Albania here. Macedonia here. K Kosovo right here. Serb Yugos Tito in, in, in Belgrade. Oh my god. I, I thought I'm not gonna see some of these things ever in my life. And yeah, I guess that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this terribly long video. If you did, then like, share, and subscribe. Comment what you would like to see next. And yeah, that's it. See you in the next one. Bye.